All right, long time no talk. <laughs> so I've pretty much been working on my house and uh, haven't really had time for the toys or money. So finally starting to get back out here, get a little bit of time here and there. Uh, still got the 450 apart, still working on that. Um, pretty much everything else is together. The CR back. But focusing on my fucking ATC 250R. Uh, pretty much want to make this a fucking MX type build. Um, I'd really like to try to do it. So I finally got my cases back. I had to send it out to Rob Selvey. He fixed my counterbalance bore. Um, the fucking hole was worn right out where the bearing sits into. Um, so I was having movement up and down in the case. Uh, I sent it out to him. He made an awesome fucking repair. Um, put a new sleeve in it to the right size and fits tighter than a bullfrog's ass. So it's mint. Um, working on getting these heel guards on. They're off a TRX 450. They are the Tusk heel guards, so uh, they stopped making them, so they're getting very hard to find. Uh, that's the same same style I used on my 350X, and those fit up real nice. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get another set and do the same thing for the 250R. So I just got this side on, finally. I just put some nuts on the back side, tightened them down. After I drilled some holes and uh, welded them right up. That takes care of the foot peg mount. And for the 450, the bracket that's on it comes up and then it comes out to about here. So works out pretty good because on the 250R you have your chain slider bracket that sits right here. And you got your roller that sits in there for the chain. So that's going to be the bracket for the back of this heel guard, which works out mint. And for this side, I haven't done this one yet, but that'll be probably tomorrow night. Uh, same thing with the peg. Just put your nuts inside, tighten them down with the bolts, and zap some weld on them. Uh, for the back side, I got this little it's a skid plate mount, pretty much off a scrap piece of a 250R frame that I got. So I got that to sit right in this little crevice, and I'll probably weld that up tomorrow, and this side will be complete, and I got the gusset kit from Rob Wicks, at Wicked Metal Design, I got that all welded up, which he makes an awesome fucking kit, this thing's sturdy as fuck, so I don't see this thing having any troubles with being strong enough. Actually being able to send her off some fucking jumps. Nice kid he makes. Fucking thing's awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, she's coming along. I sat the bottom end in there to make sure that the 88, 89 rear motor mounts fit. That I welded into her. And they do. I got the top and bottom set. So now I can use the 88, 89 style swing arm. Which I'll probably throw that one on it. And that one's getting the uh, KOQ long travel no link that I got, uh, which is sitting up there right now. I got a shock, so probably swap the rear end right out of this right into the fucking ATC, and that should be good for a nice MX track, nice short fucking 88 89 swing arm. See how the aluminum holds up, but hoping it'll be good. All right, guys, I want to give you a little update. It's been a little while since I actually posted a fucking video. Still working on trying to get a GoPro and figure all that shit out. I got to get something so I can edit it. But stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll start making some better videos and hopefully some racing videos here coming up. Even if not, maybe get that fucking bike right there out on the ice this winter. I got an extra set of uh, wheels and tires. Probably fucking send some studs in them. See how that goes. All right, boys and girls. Till next time.